catch up, guys. It's been a while since we've like checked back in. We always send all these messages, right? We're all about sending all these messages to people on Bumble, but it's like, where are they now? You know, I feel like we need one of those segments where it's like, where are they now? Here's where Steven is. <gasps> guys. A worthy foe, indeed. <laughs> oh man, I bet she says that to every boy. They're probably thinking, well, they're right. I don't. I just did. I just don't understand. Like, people are like, oh my god, like, robots are gonna take over the world, and like, everyone's gonna hate it, and like, I hate robots. But it's like, guys, there's, they're not. What's something you haven't ever told anyone before? Like, what's your deepest most emotionally taxing secret. Wait, actually, why would I say this? I'm live streaming. Wait, don't answer that. I'm live streaming. <laughs> Guys, Jim is like probably like, I'm just so confused. I don't know which one is you. <laughs> Who is, like, which one is Jim? Like, which, like, which one of these people are you, Jim? It's not that hard to understand. There's, you, there's no solo picture. Each and every one of these people has someone else in it. Why? I think I'm in love. Um, just trying to recreate the pottery scene from Ghost. Ask me about our ideal first date. I mean, okay. What's our ideal first date? I'd say find a nice swanky restaurant, Red Robin, share a nice meal, then take a long walk at night unless it's too cold while the sun sets, drive back to one of our places, jamming to music, of course. Then just chill and vibe together, perhaps with a little movie on for ambience. Do you want to know my ideal first date? Who knows, guys? I don't know. I have a good feeling about today. I have a feeling that today we're gonna find true, true, like the truest of love. I think today it's like you never wake up and, and um, you just, you just, um, let's talk about Blake. 6'4", active, Aries, college, rarely drinks, regularly smokes, man, doesn't know. What is it? Like, what does this mean? Like, what is this, like, I don't know yet? Like, what do you don't, why don't you know? They're watching me, Jim. They're watching me. They're watching me. All of them are watching me. They're watching me. They can't get away. They can't get away, Jim. They're bugs under my skin, Jim. I can't get Let's <laughs> Is this ethical? Yes. No. Fuck, we have to come up with a date. Ambien. Then Baskin Robbins. We eat all 34 flavors. Then back to Tony's place. Not yours, not mine. We're robbing the place. More ambient. Then Air Bud Marathon. What's Air Bud Marathon? What's that, you ask? Don't. Most of you think it's ethical. If you don't think it's ethical, state why. And um, I will listen. It's not not ethical, but it's wasting others' time and also could potentially freak others out. But it's fine for you to do it if you don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Lots of philosophers argue it's probably wrong if you could be doing something better, but it's a net neutral overall. That's really thought-provoking. My real-life power is being batshit insane! We'll see about that. Wait, where did the... Wait! <laughs> Wait, I think I just watched someone unmatch with me. Didn't didn't you see someone like actually just disappear? No! He's gone. my fucking head, Scott! Get out of my head! I'm like sweating. I think it was. <laughs> no way!
All right, this is like 100% accurate. So I hope that we can get some answers. I don't think Blake's going to like that. I find myself in a situation where an old lady has trouble crossing the street. What do I do? I mean, let's be honest, guys. Like, I'm a busy girl. Like, you know, like, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, pretend. Like, I'm not going to, like, be, like, I'm not going to acknowledge her. But, like, I mean, I could just be, like, I don't, I don't. Oh, man, I didn't see that lady. Like, where, where do I know him from? Do you work at the grocery store? Do you work at the Foot Locker? Do you work at the, the, do you work at the office? <laughs> you can't say no to that. Like what, what? You don't work at the office, so then what do you do? Nothing? Okay. Do you work in an office with a metal door? Guys. No, 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 no. Hold on, I gotta send him a voice memo. No, 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 no. Don't leave, Jim! Please! Please don't leave me! How often do you lie? Honestly, rarely. Riley, we don't lie! Riley, when do we lie? Riley! Are you trying to care for the environment? Like, what does this mean? I try, but it doesn't always work out. Let's see if I, let's see if I do these things. Plant more trees, I haven't done that. Save electricity. Yeah, I turn the lights off. Say no to firecrackers, I definitely do that. Yeah, you know, technically I do. I do care for the environment. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, yep. Come on. I'm a successful older gentleman, currently own a radio station, and I'm looking for a beautiful, special young girl that I can care for and take care of all of her needs and desires. Guys. Oh, so you think it's wrong with older people. You think that it's less ethical with older people. Even if these old... Guys don't know how to change the age range. They're still trying to match people decades younger than them, so they're creepy enough for it to be okay to mess with them. Carpe diem. Sushi and cheesecake. Kiss me! <laughs> oh my god, dude, relax. Looking for a younger woman who likes older men, not a sugar daddy that likes road trips, as well as watching a movie on the couch. I am super outgoing. Guys. Um, confused. 6'5", 220 pounds, lol. What are you so confused about, Howard? I don't understand what's so confusing. I'm really tall. Do we, is this when we voice memo? I'm searching for a special Must be what? You're a good person. Yes! You are definitely not a bad person. Based on your answers, we can clearly say that you are a good person. When someone needs help, you're always there. You are always honest with other people and you bring a lot of positive energy. Heard it here first. 100% accurate. If you have to choose an angel's feature to have, what would it be? What does this have to do with being a good person? This has nothing to do with if I'm a good person. I hate this quiz. I want it to end. I hate this quiz. I want it to end. I hate this quiz. Yeah, I want it to end. Oh, yes. I hate this quiz. I want it to end. I hate this quiz. I want it to end. Oh, classic BuzzFeed. Perfect. Is it better to kill one person or let five people die? Kill one person to save five. Avoid killing the one person thereby letting five people die. This sucks. I hate the trolley problem. I hate the trolley problem. I guess I can kill one. Whatever. I'm Peter Griffin. I like to lay back and drink. 
You also like to hang out with your friends and do drunk things that you wouldn't do while you are sober. Yes! Oh my god, I knew it! I knew it! Ugh! This was so fun, and I really appreciate us having a discussion about ethics. It's really fun, and I appreciate people coming forward and telling me why the Bumble thing isn't ethical because it's thought provoking and then it generated such constructive conversation. It's like just wild because there's not one right or wrong answer. How can I be a better person? How? <laughs>